In this session, I will demonstrate how the gated set reset NAND latch works. The first thing we will do is click on the board to energize the circuit. Now that we have energized the circuit, we will run through the truth table for a demonstration. To understand how the circuit works, think of the clock signal as a door. When the door is closed, no matter what is going on at the input or at the entrance of the circuit, nothing inside the circuit is going to change. Let's go through the first four input conditions of the truth table for a visual demonstration. Since we already have the state where set and reset are both zero, let's go to where reset is one and set is zero. Okay, the circuit sees nothing. Let's go to where set is one and reset is zero. Here again, the circuit sees nothing. And the state where both set and reset is 1, the circuit here again is not affected. Nothing inside the circuit has changed. When we want to change the state of the circuit or the inside of the circuit, we simply open the door. Now that the clock signal is high, everything that happens at the entrance, see, will be reflected at the output and inside the circuit. Let's systematically go through the truth table, the four input conditions where the clock signal is high. Since we already have Okay, let's go through this state first where reset is 1 and set is 0. If we reset to 1 and not Q becomes 1 and Q becomes 0, as the truth table says would happen. When we switch by setting set to 1 and reset to 0, now Q is the one that is asserted and not Q is 0. And the next state we can put both S and R to 1 in which case both Q and not Q becomes 1. We call this condition invalid because in real applications we never both set and reset a system at the same time. Either the system is going to be set or it's going to be reset, but never both at the same time. Again, if I close the door, nothing that happens at the input can affect the output. If I open the door, everything that happens at the output, at the input, I mean, affects the output. For more information on the operation and function of this circuit, visit tialab.com. When you go to tialab.com, you will find a full analysis of the circuit. You will see how to derive the Boolean expression, for example, you will see how to derive the state transition table if you need to. Some professors require that, some don't.
and you will also learn how to derive the state transition diagram. Again, some professors will require that from you and some will not. Thank you for visiting this session of tialab.com.